Good morning everyone. Today is a beautiful day. It's very windy so sorry about the noise. But I'm not really sure what's happening today. It's just the usual diving, chilling, doing some lessons and basically just having a really good day. problems recently with internet. I ran out of internet uh, because of it's only a 30 day um, thing. So 30 days ran out and uh, I have no more internet at the moment but hopefully later on today I'll get internet and videos should be going up as usual every other day. But we'll see because I'm not going to be able to get as much internet as I did before. It's a beautiful calm day um, even despite the wind. Uh, the sea is pretty pretty clear. Uh, we're going to be doing some we just get in a bit further. We're going to be doing some speed, um, what do you call them? Like speed surveys. So we're going to try do at least three in one dive. Um, we're going to go fast. We're going to go do the whole put out the line, look at the coral and the invertebrates. And hopefully do that really, really quickly. And fingers crossed we can start surveying because that's what I really, really want to do while I'm here. Being here has been pretty amazing. I've learnt so much being here but at the same time it doesn't feel like I've done a lot and it's scary that we've only got two weekends left this weekend next weekend and then the weekend after I'm going back to Tulia and then on my way over the overland tour again back home and it's scary how pretty much nearly eight weeks have passed like that but it hasn't been horrible it's been absolutely incredible and i've met so many amazing people on this trip and we've kind of all gotten along like family which is really really nice we're all really close we all kind of hang out together we chill out together we all kind of have the same wavelengths so there haven't been really that many upsets and which is really really nice we've already started talking about like reunions and stuff like that which i probably won't be able to go to but it's still nice to think that we'll still be in contact even after our six weeks are up talking about reunions my uni friends my geography friends are all trying to meet up and i i'm so upset that i won't be going to england to see them like i'm fine with not going to england i do miss my grandparents i do miss my cousins and I do miss my uni friends, but I don't miss England at all. But there is a possibility that I might be going to England at the beginning of next year. You never know. So hopefully soon I'll get to see them and it'll be good. But yeah, that's been kind of sad that I can't see them at a reunion. And it's been difficult with Skype and messaging, mainly because I have no internet at the moment, but also because I'm here and I'm busy all the time. I haven't been able to talk to Leon as much either because it's just been difficult for the same reasons. So I think I've only been able to talk to him like every other night and only for like 20 minutes or so. So it's difficult. I know Leon's really struggling as well. But I'll be over soon. It's going to be bittersweet. Um, and I don't know how, how to feel about that. <laughs> So it's been a really nice few days of diving, um, except we only dived once today, which is strange. As in, like, there was only one boat that went out. It was amazing quality today, it was beautiful, 
and it was really really nice and yesterday I have been here for a whole month so exactly a month yesterday that's how long I've been in Madagascar and how the time has flown it's ridiculous uh, it does not feel like a month at all I also think we're doing a homestay this week uh, which is where we stay out with a family in a village and we basically do what they do um, throughout the day or we will go and have dinner with them they won't be able to speak English so we are learning some Malagasy uh, which is really difficult the numbers are difficult but it makes sense the numbers do make sense so they do if it's 55 they do 5 and then 50 of that or if it's like because everything's in like thousands and ten thousands they do if it's 15 they do 5 and 10,000 so it really makes sense so have some Malagasy lessons we have been doing a lot of fun dives recently which has been really really good um, and I've kind of just merged all the videos into one because it makes a lot more sense than having multiple underwater footage we'll see how it goes because I'm doing this before I even edit so I don't even know what I have it's been a bit difficult using the GoPro because you can't see what you're filming and you can't see if it's too red or if it's too green so I've had to play with the colors quite a lot to get that effect I did try protein on this time so we'll see if that worked any better but I'm still learning how to use everything but I hope you enjoy this video we did some surveying which was cool and I think at one point I'm gonna go and put a GoPro on my head and see how that works out hopefully um, next week we can start surveying because we've only got two weeks left and I really want to get some surveying in before I leave <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe if you do enjoy it and want to see more in the future and uh, let me know what your favorite part of the video was and I will do more of it and I will see you in the next video as always Paloma